Welcome to the Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and today I want to talk to you about plasma cutting basics. What do you use plasma for? For myself, the number one thing I use plasma for is the Torchmate CNC machine for cutting out precision parts for any of my projects, whether it's motorcycle hot rod, off-road car, or just a, a general tab. Uh, the number two thing that I use plasma for is cutting off somebody else's mistake, or maybe even it's my mistake. Uh, someone's welds in a trailer hitch and it's uh, poorly welded or poorly engineered. Uh, I'll get in there and surgically remove that unit, clean it up with a grinder, and then start over again. Uh, another thing that we can use plasma for would be to you know, use it as a shear, use a guide. Here you see I have a wheeled standoff and you can rip metal and uh, go ahead and get a nice clean cut on that. Another question I get is, uh, Tim, you know, I've been using this torch for, uh, you know, a couple weeks straight and uh, every day it just becomes a little less efficient in cutting. That's because of your consumable life. Uh, you actually erode the electrode or maybe your nozzle actually starts to get ovaled out. So those are a time change item. And here again, when you're doing something, maybe like you're cutting off a trailer hitch and you're up in there and you're getting blowback, that's, that's something that you may want to check after you finish that project or start experiencing poor cut quality. Uh, another thing that will cause your consumables to go out is not getting clean, dry air uh, to and through your machine. Uh, most of us run a water trap right on the air compressor and actually the proper way to do that is to let the air come out of the air compressor in a line uh, maybe 25-30 feet as long as you can afford to do and then run your moisture trap. Get that time for that air to come out and cool and start to condense, catch it in the moisture trap and then run another line to the little micro filter that uh, Longevity supplies with the units. Uh, very good little filter. You just you need something to pull out the, the maximum amount of water before it gets to it. And that's something that will actually cause erosion on your electrode and poor cut quality. Another question I get is how many amps do I use to cut certain thicknesses of metal? It's all relative to inches per minute on how fast you're going to travel. Now on the machine we actually have parameters to dial that in on the computer that tells the machine how quick or how slow to move in inches per minute for the cut so that's controllable but when you're doing something like say you're going to cut off that trailer hitch you know I tend to max out my machine I turn it to max amps I put my air pressure around 90 95 and I get in there and just start blowing and taking out material uh, so it's all relative on how fast you want to move now if I'm going to cut some 18 gauge with an 80 amp plasma cutter, I'm probably not going to dial in 80 amps. I might dial in 40 amps and set up just because physically I'm not set up to accurately move at maybe 300 inches a minute or whatever that vary will be. So I'll turn that down to maybe 40 and get in there and just start watching the cut. That way I don't experience a ton of dross uh, which is the crystallized metal on the back side of the cut. A lot of people try to make plasma very complicated. Uh, right now we're just going to shear a piece of 18 gauge. So two things I want to deal with. I want to make sure that I have air pressure. I got about 90 pounds dialed in, close enough. 78 amps, that's that's a lot to be blown through uh, 18 gauge. So I'll just I'll turn that down to like 40 amps. I'll just come close. Dial in 38's good. Now we'll go up to the piece and do a cut. So I have the wheeled standoff. It's set about 120 thousandths off the deck. Simply I'm just going to come in here and sever this piece. And as you can see we get a nice clean cut. There's very little dross on the back side. Hopefully these tips and tricks help you out with your process in your plasma cutter. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.